Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a scroll to top button like this using just HTML, CSS and a little bit of vanilla JavaScript. It is going to be very simple and quick tutorial. So let's get started. First of all, we will have to create a folder for the project. Let's name it scroll to top. and let's open this folder using a code editor i'm gonna use visual studio code you can use other code editor if you want and now i will create a file html file here let's name it index.html and here let's put the html5 boilerplate code we'll change the title to scroll to top and in the body, in the body, we will have to create two sections. Section one and section two. Let's copy this for the section two. Let's change the class name to two. The purpose of creating these two section is to check whether or not the scroll to top button is working. Now let's put a h1 tag in the section 1 saying welcome to my page and let's put a paragraph tag here this is section 1 scroll down to see more content okay now let's put a h2 here on the section 2 saying this is section 2 and here let's put a paragraph tag saying we have added let's put a lorem ipsum okay now the only thing missing is the button let's put the button here the scroll to top button let's put an id saying scroll to top button and here we we are going to use a html character let's search it in the internet let's find it top arrow html and click on the w3 school link and if you scroll down you will see this character let's copy this and put it here on the button okay now let's have a quick look of how it is looking so far so let's open our file in a browser so this is not looking very good We'll have to now provide the CSS so that it looks good and let's create the CSS file here. We can name it style.css. Now let's link this CSS file with our HTML file. We can do it in the head tag using the link tag. Okay, so we have linked our CSS file with HTML. Now we'll have to provide the CSS here. Firstly, let's target the body tag and we're gonna use a font family. Uh, Arial and let's remove this one. So this means for the whole page, Arial font family will be used and for some reason, if it is not available, the page will use this fallback font which is called sans serif now let's add some margin actually margin 0 pixel and padding 0 pixel also let's put a stall behavior which will be smooth now let's put some CSS for the both sections we are going to use a height of 100 VAs height 
100 VH. VH means it will take the full height of the screen. And then let's put some padding, 50 pixels. And then let's put a, let's use a color of white. Now we will have to use different color for the different for the both sections so that we can differentiate the two sections for the first one. Let's use a background color. Uh, we can put anything here actually just play around with it. I'm going to use blue for the first section and for the second section. I'm going to use green. Now let's see how is it looking so far. Let's refresh. So we have a section one and section two, but the button is not designed yet. So let's put some CSS for the button. So we'll have to target the ID, scroll. Let's copy it from here so that we don't make mistake. Let's use it here. It will be an ID, so hash. So for this button, the position will be fixed. And it will be on the right bottom corner. So right 30 pixel or 20 pixel and bottom 20 pixel. And then let's add a background color. A gray background color, black background color, not fully black. Then the color, which will be white, padding 12 pixel and 12 pixels top button and 15 pixels around. Then border radius 50%. Cursor pointer font size 20 pixel Z index 1000 so that it is on top of everything and then let's add a transition for a smooth hover background color. 0.3 second is now let's put a hover effect hover color on the button hover the background color will be changed to a gray color which is 555 now let's have a quick look again refresh so we can see the button actually we can see a border here let's remove the border border zero pixel and now let's see here yeah, the border is gone but we'll have to hide this button initially because the user should not see it when the come into the page it will only be shown when the scrolls down. So let's hide it initially. Display none. Okay. Okay, it is gone. Now we'll have to use the JavaScript so that when user scroll down, the button will appear here. And if they click on the button, it will take them to the top of the page. So let's add the JavaScript code. Let's create the JavaScript file here. Let's name it script.js. Now we'll have to link this JavaScript file into our HTML file. We'll have to put it just before the body tech, just above the body tech, closing body tech. So script source will be script.js. So the JS file, JavaScript file is linked. Now we can add the JavaScript file here. First thing we'll have to do is we'll have to target the ID of the button. So let's declare a variable, scroll to top equals to 
we can target this id scroll to top button using a method called get element by id document dot get element by id here we'll have to put the name of the id scroll to top button here we have stored the element scroll to top button in a variable scroll to top we will use this later now we will have to show the button whenever the users scrolls down a little bit like the 300 pixels to do that we will have to add a event listener on our window object let's do it window dot add event listener and the name of the event is scroll and the callback function here let's put the callback function now on this callback function we will have to check whether or not the users scrolls down 300 pixels to do that we can use the if statement here we will have to use the window dot base uh, y offset as uh, the users will scroll down vertically so it will be y is greater than 300 pixels that means if the users scrolls down more than 300 pixels the button will be shown up so let's do it we can copy this variable and let's put it here scroll to top dot style uh, style dot display equals to block and else if they don't scroll down to 300 pixels it will be none the display will be none now let's see if it's working or not let's go to our browser refresh it and it scrolls down yeah so initially it is not showing the button is not showing and if you scrolls down it shows it's shown up here so the code is working fine now we'll have to add some other javascript code so that when user clicks on this button it takes them to the top of the page let's do it to do that we'll have to add an event listener on this variable let's copy it and let's add the add event listener method in this case it will be click the event will be click and let's put the fallback function in this callback function we will have to target the window object and let's add a method called scroll to and on this method we will have to provide a an object as parameter using curly braces and the first property will be top zero and then behavior smooth it will be a string that's it let's save it and check it on the check the file on the browser again let's refresh and go down we see the button and just click and it takes us to the top of the page and that is how you create a scroll to top button using plain html css and javascript no libraries no frameworks if you found this helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe for more web development tutorials and let me know in the comments what you would like to build next thank you for watching